Good morning. Welcome, my dear friends. It's so nice to see you. You know, it's getting a lot easier. It's only four days and it's getting a lot easier to push that button that means that you're going live. I'm inside my office today. It's raining outside. I would so much rather be outside with you in the garden and show you the little things that change each day. But um, I have to admit that I am a fair weather gardener. When it's raining, I'm usually not outside working. Um, anyway, I'm so excited to be here. For those of you that haven't been with me before, we are working on a 100-day sun, um, sunflower celebration. And today, and I know this is backwards, and I'm sorry, I'll figure out that setting here one of these days. Today is day eight. And um, a little later, I'm going to kind of tell you some of my impressions after my first week. But the, the thing that we're doing is planning 100 days where I'm growing at least 100 sunflowers. It's, it's getting to look like it might be more like hundreds. <laughs> I've been out planting seeds yesterday all over every square inch of my yard where there is not something else growing. And some of them, of course, are going to get eaten. Some of them won't have the right amount of sunshine. But it is going to be a real surprise in 100 days to see what is all over my yard. I can't wait to show you. Anyway, so this sunflower celebration is a combination of two things. It's growing sunflowers for 100 days. That's a visual that I can see. And it's also a time to work on something for myself that I want to change or do differently. And I've said that you can choose anything and you can jump in anywhere you are. But for me, what I've been working on is improving um, how I do social media. And the biggest problem that I had with social media was that I had a love-hate relationship with it. Um, that I felt like I spent too much time on it and too much time thinking about what I should write. So I felt like it was kind of taking over my entire life. And uh, that's not how I wanted to do it. So that's what I'm working on. So first of all, just as a kind of a reminder, one thing that we've talked about a little bit this week already is you have to, in order to be able to have a sunflower celebration, that day where all the sunflowers are blooming, all the ones that, that, that worked out because you're bound to have some mishaps in 100 days. I can't wait to see what they are. Anyway, you have to know what you want to be able to create the vision. So you have to know what you want if you choose something. You have to know what it is. And then you have to kind of be able to start see it. So you want to dream a little bit and plan and try things out. And that's where I've noticed really particularly um, this week, it's been one week. And when I started this a week ago, I did know what I wanted to do for um, what my social media looked like, but I, um, I was having a really hard time creating that vision for myself. But one week in, let me tell you one way that things have changed. Um, I usually work four days a week, and then on Friday, I um, on Friday I usually take the day off, do something I enjoy, something relaxing, something that's fun. And so Monday I set aside for my for my social media day, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are client days. And if I don't have a full client load that day, then I do some additional social media. And um, I always have social media that I have to do in my off times because I never get it done on Monday because I spend a lot of time and a lot of time on Monday in thought drama worrying about what what will they want to hear what should I share with them what how is this going to work you know really kind of planning everything to where it's not very much fun and um and it spills over into my week. Tuesdays, I do have a full client load, but Wednesdays, I don't have any clients right now. And so I, it is another day that I usually spend at my desk working on social, well, working on marketing, writing, you know, those, those kind of things. And um, 
I didn't want to do that. So, so this is what I've learned this week. Um, I am all done, even with doing a live every day, I'm all done with the work that I have to do for social media. That includes blog posts, that includes um, emails, that includes uh, Instagram, Facebook, and, and that includes really pretty much the whole thing. I'm all done by about 9.30 or, well, I'm doing this at 9.30, but by 10, I'm about done with everything I've done, I need to do for the day, and I can put it away. So yesterday, this, this is the biggest change that I've seen. I, I talked about when you try something and you practice it and you do it, you, you, it feels awkward, it feels weird, it feels not comfortable, but if you push through it a little bit, your muscles, it's just like lifting weights and exercising, your muscles start to grow a little bit. That is so amazing to me. So my muscles over the week has gotten stronger and the way that I could see that was that yesterday on Wednesday um, at 10.30 in the morning, I was like, I don't have anything else I have to do today. There's nothing else on my schedule. I've done it all. It only took a few minutes. And then I was like, what should I do with myself? I've spent the last three years chained to this desk doing marketing and, and stuff on Wednesdays. And so I looked around my house and I cleaned it up a little bit. And then I was like, and then I went outside and worked in the yard a little bit. It was sunny for a little while. But I mean, it was like I had the whole day. And by about two o'clock, I was like, I need to come up with a new hobby because I don't have anything to do. And I didn't. You know what I did instead? My daughter is off work this week. And I called her and I visited with her for an hour, an hour and like 15 minutes. And we haven't done that in a long time. And I loved it. So what I saw happening was that I was not miserable with my marketing. I was a lot happier. And um, that relationship that I treasure with my daughter, I got to spend some time on it. She, she was home and not busy. I was home and not busy. Actually, the way that it worked is that I talked to her. She's got six kids. I talked to her while she was, um, while she was doing some things at her house. And, and I can't remember what they were, but she told me, oh, I remember. Anyway, um, and I kind of laid on the couch and just concentrated on her, which was great for both of us. Anyway, so I could see that in one week, that there is that change that I talked to you about, that vision. And so I can see even more and even better and even clearer what to, I want to have happen for me in, 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 in this, next, um, this next 100 days. Where, where will I be in 100 days? I'm not going to fill that time up with, with more business stuff. I am going to save the time um, in between clients for something I'll, I'll I'm reading whatever something that I enjoy anyway I just thought I'd share with you because that was a huge success <coughs> sometimes one of the hardest things is to um, create that vision and that's something that I'm usually pretty good at and I would love to help you with hang on just a minute I'm gonna cough again <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, um, I'm pretty good at creating those visions. And if that is something that you're not very good at and would like some help with, reach out to me. I would love to spend an hour with you. We can get on a Zoom call. There's no obligation, there's no charge. It's just for fun and I can help you start envisioning yourself when you know where you want to go in 100 days. Here comes that cough again, just a minute. I've had a cough all week and I actually went to the doctor yesterday and so now I've got a whole bunch of things for cough. So I think it's gonna clear up in a few days. The The virus that caused the cough is gone, but the, the mechanism that irritates your throat is not gone. And I can actually tell it's coming back. So we're gonna kind of um, work on, uh, get through this so that you don't have to listen to me cough anymore. Anyway, reach out to me and I would love to help you. Um, 
the thing that I had planned to talk about today, and I can make it pretty quick, but it's important. I was working with a client this week and I asked her what did she want to keep from COVID, and she was really surprised. Um, she said, I, I hadn't thought about it that way. I'd only seen all the things that I'd lost, all the negative aspects. I hadn't thought about what I wanted to keep from COVID. COVID. And um, I don't know about you, but for me, there were probably as many positive things um, that came out of COVID than as there were negative things. I was able to see what was really important to me and... Um, and I've started noticing that people are absolutely making changes, you know, on a really small level. I can see it. Um, many of my friends are have decided to put their house up to sell, uh, up for sale, and um, move closer to their children or make a move that way. Um, they they have decided. They've looked at what's important to them, and they're making changes now. And um, one of my favorite. Um, one of my favorite topics, subjects, is history. I like to read about history. I like to think about it. And I'm particularly fond of the World War II um, and the, the events that, the depression and the events that changed the geographical face of America in the 20s and the 30s. Because, um, and, and actually, I have done a lot of reading on the 1919 pandemic because um, one of my great grandfathers died in that pandemic and it has affected our generations um, down till now. Anyway, so in the next 40 or 10, 5, 10 years, historians are going to start telling us what we learned from COVID. But I'm asking you today to think about what story do you want to tell? What do you, what story do you want to tell yourself? What story do you want to tell your family? And what story do you want to be telling in your community? So just think about um, what do you want to keep from COVID? What do you want to give up? And how do you see yourself differently as a result? That's my story today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. Goodbye.